doctor's fault to nourish the growing baby. Correct. Because you should know the function ng mammary gland. Kailangan talaga ng baby, ha? Um, and you should know the physiology na pag, pag panganak and after piraka days, it will secrete what? The mammary gland will secrete Secret what? Agoy. Milk. Milk. Milk, yes. Uh, I remember when I took the exam in uh, OB, uh, um, diplomat exam in obstetrics, kasama yung mammary gland. And uh, we were shown a slide of the mammary gland uh, pointing to the alveoli, and the alveoli, and then there was some secretion inside. So, ano yung secretion ng, ng ma mammary gland? The milk, yung pink na color doon sa loob ng alveoli of the gland is milk. Ha? O baka i-point ni Dr. Lasaka sa slide. Alam nyo na dapat the answer is milk. Okay? And then, he will also point ano mga lining ipipil yung ng, ng uh, alveoli of the gland. So actually, the the mammary glands are the mammary glands are accessory glands, okay, and they are located along the mammary mammary line. So, di ba mga as the dogs and the pigs, they have a lot of mammary gland, di ba? Along the mammary line. So hindi pwedeng mag mammary gland siya sa gitna, gito sa gitna ng ng chest because the mammary line is not there. The mammary line is from the axilla down to the groin or the, uh, the yeah the groin or the ventral aspect no in the what's this the pelvic area huh? so it should be for my extra mammary in extra mammary gland in the human being it must be along the mammary line. So, yung iba, sometimes meron siyang tatlo na mamari, di ba? Dalawa lang dapat, okay? But some women will have, or some men will have three or four. So, ang iba, nandun sa mamari line, okay? Para siyang aso or parang pig, okay? And uh, the nerves that are involved here are anterior and cutaneous branches of the fourth, fifth, and sixth thoracic nerve, okay? So we have the so-called nipple, okay? Ano naman importante ng nipple na yan? Sa baby. Uh, very important because it's where the, the baby will latch on, di ba? After the baby is born, pinapalatch namin yung baby, pinapasak on the mother's breast through the nipple, no? It is a pigmented area of skin at the center of the, of the areola, huh? The areola naman is, it is a darkened, no? dark portion of the mammary gland. And in this uh, nipple, you have 15 to 20 lactiferous ducts that open on the tip of the nipple as excretory ducts of this mammary gland. Huh? So, nasa nipple yung mga uh, outlet ng mga lactiferous ducts. No? that open into the tip of that nipple. So this is just the gross anatomy of the mammary gland, okay? Okay, so look at the tip of the areola, there is the nipple, no? And then several lactiferous sinus will empty into the nipple. And this is coming from the different lactiferous ducts, no? Each duct will empty or be, uh, will come out from the secretory lobe of the mammary gland, okay? So, may that here, alveoli. You have our alveoli or the secretory lobe in your mammary gland, which will secrete the milk and pass through the lactiferous duct to the lactiferous sinus out into the nipple. Huh? So at this time, dapat alam niyo yung flow. The flow of the milk, no? From its production, 
then out into the nipple. Okay. Angelica Lesigas, are you there? If you are there, you trace to me the passage of milk from the secretory lobe to the nipple. Yes, no. Oh, so yeah, no. the, the milk flow from its production down to the nipple and out. Paano ba yun? Sorry, look, I cannot hear you, Doc. Ah, you cannot hear me. <laughs> Sorry. You trace the flow of milk from the secretory production down to the nipple. Paano yun? How okay. do you... Yeah. You trace. Okay, from the secretory lobe, block. Yes. Okay, po. to the lactif lactiferous duct. Mm -hmm. And then yeah. to the areolar sebaceous glands and the sinus, po, and lactiferous sinus, out to the okay. nipple. Po. Uh -huh. Hindi na kasama yung areolar, areolar sebaceous glands. Areolar sebaceous glands, yes. Po. Yung ducts na lang so, yung lactiferous sinus, then to the nipple. Huh? To the nipple, po. yes. Po. Now, Oh, can you see this white thing here? Mga white, ano yan siya? The white, ano yan siya? Fats. Fats. Fats, oh. Sino yung answer doon? Bargamento po. Ah, Mr. Bargamento. Okay. So, uh, actually, I did get in a joke. It's, it's rather true. Okay. What the boys are appreciating in a woman are just fatty tissue. Oh, nakatawa kayo dyan, Mr. Bargamento. Oh, those are fatty tissues talaga. Di ba? Oh, a lot of fatty tissues there. So you're appreciating a lot of, of uh, what's this? Fatty tissues, no? And interspersed dito are the secretory lobes or the um, alveoli of the glands. And then these, are, these uh, are very important for Lactation. Huh? Lactation of the baby once it is born. So, yan ang importance ng mammary gland. It is a tubular alveolar gland consisting of 15 to 20 lobes, lobes, secretory lobes, no? And drain it to the ducts, to the sinus, and uh, into the uh, nipple. Oh, okay. So, the larger ducts are lined. Actually, this is wrong. Uh, no. The larger ducts are lined by simple columnar and the smaller by the cuboidal epithelium. Look it up. Huh? I think it is interchange. No? So this is how it will look under the microscope you know, in the resting mammary gland. Resting mammary gland will consist of resting lobes or secretory lobes huh? in a resting um, status, no? Yan, hindi siya masyadong hyperplastic yung mga glands, okay? Saka walang laman, no? There's nothing there in the uh, mga lobules, nothing there inside. Walang masyadong laman, no? So it is a resting breast, resting mammary gland. And remember too, when you studied about the epithelium no, and the muscles, there's an important muscle there that will help in the secretion or ejection of the milk. Ano yan? Yung myoepithelial cells, no? Diba, you compare this. How do you compare, compare this? Kanyete. Ms. Caniete, how do, do you compare this breast during pregnancy and this one, resting breast? How do you compare it? Um, the alveoli product is well developed. Oh, well developed. And you see you have um, a lot of lobes, right? a lot of secretory lobes here than this. Kasi resting dito, walang activity, no? But this one, you have an active, um, what's this? I mean, mga secretory lobes. Huh? 
medyo nag-hyperplasia siya, no? Dumadami yung mga cells, okay? And this is due to the elevated levels of estrogen and progesterone. So remember that uh, in a pregnant woman, no, there's an active estrogen and progesterone. So nag, uh, there's a rapid growth of length and branching of the ductal system as well as proliferation of the alveoli. Okay? And there is an infiltration of the stroma so, my ductal proliferation and lengthening of the ducts, no? Ducts. Because of the uh, estrogen and progesterone and an increasing infiltration of the stroma with lymphocytes, plasma cells, and eosinophils, okay? Again, compare natin. This is for a resting breast. This one is for a pregnant breast or, or a, a, the breast in the pregnant woman. So there is hyperactivity in the pregnant woman's breast, okay? Um, you have lengthening of the duct, ductal system as well as the proliferation of the cells of the ducts. And this is due to the elevation of your estrogen and progesterone. So later in pregnancy, there is enlargement of the parenchymal cells of the ducts. Uh, rather of the of the gland, the extension of the alveoli and ducts, hyperplasia of the glands, and the secretion of the colostrum. What is the colostrum? What is the colostrum? Anyone? First drop. First milk. Yes. First secretory product of the breast, breast rather, after birth is called the colostrum. And this is very important. This is why, no, for the nurses who are here, we uh, teach our patients, our clients, to give the baby the first milk. It is called the colostrum. Kasi nandun lahat ng mga vitamins, minerals, lipoproteins, and uh, immunoglobulins. Okay? The immunoglobulins are very important for that baby to take from the colostrum. No, Iya talaga ito if to take in the first drop or the first breast milk, uh, secretion of breast milk. Kasi nandun lahat ng mga immunoglobulins and it will make that baby um, not sick more often. No? So magiging ano siya, para siyang nababaksinate by the colostrum. Ha? Kasi immunoglobulin nandun lahat in the first meal. Hindi siya masyado magkakasakit, no? And postpartum, with the separation of the placenta, no? Um, the, the, there will be a drop in the estrogen progesterone, okay? Reduction of the progesterone and uh, estrogen will give way to the rise in prolactin which will herald or will be, will be the stimulation for the secretion of colostrum or the milk. Huh? But drop ng estrogen progesterone, the prolactin will rise. And so you will have now secretion of milk. So it is the estrogen from the ovary and the prolactin from the pituitary which will uh, help in the growth of the ductal system of the breast. Oh, ito naman. This is the lactating breast. So if you compare this, especially this one, what is the difference kanina hindi pakita kung resting breast and the pregnant breast? I want you to develop your your kuan, your high uh, centers, no? Para maka-analyze ka mo. What would this be? Baby, oh, what's this? Sorry. Jill, how? Baby Jill, how? What do you see here? This is a lactating breast. I don't observe me. 
It is under the microscope, huh? Anyone? It is already filled with milk. Mr. Santos, yes. This one? Um, you have the the cells are... Yes. Ano yun? Yeah. Distended, di ba? Yes. Oh, nare-distend. And, and mga good DVD, nare-distend by secretion. So again, I was questioned this also when I was a young resident. Ha? Pag, pag po pala pag, pag take on exam and diplomat exam in obstetrics. So I was asked, what is this inside? Noel. A um, milk Huh? A um, milk po, no? Milk, yes, this is milk, correct. So the secretion here is milk, okay? What, what can you, tapos na ba kagong thyroid gland? Thyroid? Yes, doc. Diba ang thyroid follicle will look like this, diba? Follicle ng thyroid. Meron din siyang secretion sa loob. Sa thyroid, ano yung nasa loob? Thyroglobulin, doc. Oh, tsaka ano yung fluid dun? Uh, what do you call that fluid? Colloid. Colloid, yes. So, ngayon, pag, pag thyroid ito, ang laban, colloid. Pero kung this is a breast, uh, what is alveoli. So, what is inside is the secretion, which is milk. Okay? Ay, pagkalimot ka mo, ha? Because you have to make an analogy on what you see, kung anong, ano, anong gland ba yan, at saka anong laman. Di ba? So you have to make, uh, you know, oh, analogy lang talaga. Use your, use your coconut, <laughs> okay? So, um, remind ko lang kayo ha, na ang pagiging doktor, by the way, hindi yung kay intelligente ka or you are genius or what. The, it's rather how you study, ha? Study with purpose para maging doktor ka, okay? And you remember all cases that you have. Uh, ito, Sorry na lang yung hindi talaga nag ano nag aattend ng lecture ko. Sorry na lang sila tsaka hindi nagbabasa, okay? Magbasa rin kayo so that you will become doctors. Okay. So ito lactating breast, what is inside is milk. Okay. Oh, so I said that you have an increase in pregnancy of estrogen and progesterone which will inhibit milk secretion during pregnancy. So uh, this is just the growth and development of the alveoli as well as the ducts because of the estrogen and progesterone. But once the baby is delivered, there will be a drop in these hormones and there is a negative feedback to prolactin. And prolactin na yun ang rise and this will now help in the production of milk. Okay? And what is the stimulus? Nurses. Mr. Santos, nurse kanto? Yes, huh? yes. Oh, ano man, ano man itong stimulus of having the milk left down or milk? Um, parang sa latching, uh, latching on yung parang uh, sucking of the breast of the mother. Yes, breast correct. Breast it's the sucking of the baby on the mother's breast. Okay? It will stimulate the production of milk. It will help secret prolactin. Okay? So, masing ito at nanay. Doktor, wari man ako gatas. Sige la, ipalatch baby, ipasusula ito. Um, just make it suck on the mother's uh, breast and then the milk will just let down. Huh? Mga second day, may na siya breast milk. Okay? Because of the stimulus. Pwede gap dok and father laan in magsak. Yes, we advise that. Yes. <laughs> Kung it baby mahina, it iya, it iya, you know, sometimes the baby is uh, premature, diri pa mas, and iya muscles of mastication, di pa develop a it cannot suck on the mother's breast. So we ask the father of the baby to do it. Huh? So it's just proper, no? Just to save the baby, makamay atahin uh, milk for the baby. And or sometimes we, we ask the parents to get milk from other sources. No, ang ibang nga nanay nga, ah, dadida, nadamot yan milk, pwede yan mati-share. Pwede yun. 
Pwede makishare. Pwede, Pwede kaya po ng milk bank. Yes, yes. A milk bank. We have a milk bank ha. AVRMC. Okay? So, may day to, yes. May day to a pool of mothers who will deposit their milk into the milk bank. Pwede yan. So, ano yan at akong slide? The, the flow no, of the milk and how the, uh, from feeding time. So, I said visual bacteria stimulus, it will um, have the prolactin from the anterior pituitary. Huh? So the protein will increase milk secretion in the alveoli, while there's a hormone from the posterior pituitary, which will help the milk flat down, expulsion of the milk from the breast. It will also Ox help contract the uterus. Oxytoxin. Yes, oxytoxin. Oxytoxin. Now, this will help you know, uh, contract the uterus para di riya magpinugo. The mother will not bleed to death. So, in the hospital, we inject oxytoxin to the mother or your methargine, no? Oxytoxin di hapon ang methargine, methyl ergometrine, to keep that uterus contracted. Ano siya? SOP, standard procedure yan. Once the baby is born and then the placenta is, is uh, expelled or delivered then we inject the mother with oxytoxin okay para mag and uterus niya mag contract and also this oxytoxin no the posterior pituitary will secrete oxytoxin into the system which will help the milk milk let down in produce it through prolactin pero and milk let down it is by oxytoxin This is a favorite question of mine. Sige, picture with me. <laughs> what are the components of milk? So ito, 88% water. Protein, 1.3, which is casein. What is the other protein in milk? Aside from casein. Ano yun? Amino acids. Protein, yeah, uh, um, a protein is made up of amino acids, but specific, there are two, there are two main uh, protein. One is casein, the other is whey, W-H-E-Y, whey. Okay? Whey protein, napada kong lawas. Yes, so casein mostly, but may nag whey, okay? There are 6.5% of carbohydrates. Memorize that ito, ha? 3.3 lipids, electrolyte, sodium, potassium, chloride, minerals, ferrous, magnesium, calcium, and immunoglobulin. This is what I was talking about. There is immunoglobulin E and immunoglobulin A, which should be passed on to the baby through the milk, ha? Dapat ang first milk, dapat Mag, mag, uh, is given to the baby. Okay? That's why we ask the mother to latch the baby. Okay. So, ito talaga ang components ng human meal. Okay. So, yan na. Dami mat baligyan ako an, na powdered milk for the baby. What is there that uh, they are into or their advertising. Ano kaya? So they have different, ano ha, mga purpose and different, uh, you call this, um, uh, purpose nila or they have different studies, ha? So yung mga milk na yun, they say that they have more protein, some will say Meron siyang different lipids, your uh, DHA, yo, okay, DHA, which will increase now the brain development of the baby, parang ganun, ha? So, you you research on the different milk na advertise So, ano yung Nestle, ano ba yung, yung um, ibang, ano, mga ibang milk, okay? 
Okay. Pero anong best na milk? Powdered milk ba? Breast, 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 breast milk. Brother's milk. Brother's milk. Oo. Oh, oh. Sige. Okay. Kay breast milk man. Ano man itong advantages of having breastfeeding? What are the advantages? Um, pati sa birth pati speed. Po, doc. <laughs> Come again? Pardon? Ano po, pag exclusive breastfeeding, sa birth spacing din po. Tapos the presence oh. of globulins po kasi oh. it is not present in the formula. Okay. So there's the so-called uh, lactation aminorrhea. Pag nag-breast milk ang isang nanay, most likely hindi siya magpupuntis in the next six months to one year because uh, lactation aminorrhea, di rin nagbabalik ang uh, ano, mga hormones. Ha? Di rin siya magpupuntis. Mag, magbubuntis ka that so there's spacing and also diba I said that um, other na yung mga immunoglobulins okay and what else antibodies lipidagas to dok correct correct sige sa ganamik lipidagas to correct At ako nga ni pasyente talaga ito yung na main reason hindi na kakapalit hit mga kuan mga Nestogen, mga kung ano din ang mga kuan, mga anot adat advertisement sa TV. Ang ah, halimbawa naman ako. Anot advertisement sa ka, mga gatas. Ha? Long. Bona. Bona. Yes. Ha? Oh, damo ito, di ba? Bona min. Size mira at mga artista. Oh. So, what is important talaga is the breast milk. Kay it is uh, economic. It is easily accessible. It has a right temperature, di ba? And it Bond, is... Bonding with mother and child. Ano yun? Yes? Bonding. Oh, mother. yeah. It promotes bonding between mother and baby. Ano pa? It is easily accessible. Ha? It does not produce gastrointestinal problem. Di rin nag uh, ALBM ang baby. Basta ito, no? Kay, sigurado ka nga it is sterile. No? It does not contain bacteria. Diba? Kasi, ang iba nga mother, if they, they make timpla na, hindi timpla nila itong diri, diri uh, ma, manimpi ang irap tubig. So, mag-ororot irap ito. Okay, so, there's, there's really an acronym, no? You ask your pedia uh, your pedia friends or residents, what is the acronym of breastfeeding? Meron siya, itong breast, B-R-E-A-S-T, feeding, F-E-E-D-I-N-G, meron siya meaning, ha? And it is the advantages of breastfeeding over milk formula, okay? Nangalimutan ako, yan na pag, ano, pag percentage, okay? So, that is all for the mammary gland, di ba? Oh, just an so just remember, ano talaga at mamari gland, no? It is a specialized absorbent gland, and importance niya is for the breastfeeding, okay? And you should know the different parts of the breast: my nipple, my areola, and the yoga ducts, okay? And you should know the flow of the milk from its secretion, no? down to the nipple and then out to the baby huh? and what are the hormones that are necessary to the uh, growth and development of the breast ducts and the alveola estrogen and progesterone diba? and this is the picture of the um resting breast resting pa lang siya no and then pag nagbuntis siya ganyan and then, pag nag-lactate na siya, yan, di ba? And ang laman niyan is milk. Okay? And you should know ano ang mga uh, hormones that are necessary for lactin, for the breast milk uh, production, and oxytocin for the um, milk lactate. Okay? And then, of course, the secretion of milk. Okay. So, naintindihan? Did you understand me? Ano na akong lecture? Ha? Yes, no. Yes, no. Yes, no. I will ask you that, no? Hindi lang yan, ha? The breasts are not there for 
uh, you know, ornamental, uh, what's this? <laughs> Purpose. Diri kaya dekorasyon. Huh? That the boys, uh, what's this? The boys appreciate. No? Kung mas dagko, mas maupay. Of course, kung dagko, mas damo it iya. Magbunti siya, mag, mag, mag lactate, damo it iya milk. Okay? We go to the presenta. Again, I will ask you, hindi kita napakiana, kaya ano kita nagbabasa, kaya ano kita nag, why do we read about, and we learn about the presenta? Muntas. Amad. What is the importance of presenta? Anyone? Hormone. Oh, kasi, yeah, correct. Uh, ang presenta, usahin yan na, uh, it's an organ that produces the hormone that is very necessary for the baby to thrive. Okay. And also, um, you will have chorionic villa in the presenta that will help also in the uh, maternal blood uh, exchange. No, In the presenta, you will exchange of blood and nutrition between the baby and the mother, okay? So you can have the primary villus on the early stage and then becoming a secondary villus, this one, and the tertiary villus at the adult pregnancy, no? Uh, there are two types of uh, cells in the villi. We have the so-called syncytotrophoblast, the outer, which uh, does not present with uh, complete cells. Magalayan mga nuclei. It could just appear as uh, a group of nuclei, no? While the inner cytotrophoblast will have a complete cell structure. By the 22nd day, the fetal blood begins to circulate to the vessels in the placental villi. And this is called now the tertiary villi or the definitive villi of the placenta. One of the hormones is produced by the placenta is your chorionic gonadotropin, okay? So once the placenta is there already, it is developed, then it will produce the HCG or chorionic gonadotropin is the basis of what? Anong basis of what siya? Relasyon, Alfredo. So, basis ng ano yung si uh, Koreanic ko na ito ko Pregnancy. Yes. Oh. Pregnancy, doc. Pregnancy or your positive pregnancy test. Di ba? Di ba kung nag-miss ano sa ka a woman, a lady, miss her period, she will show, it will show up to the observation. Doktora, wala ako nag-mens. Okay. We test the urine or the the what is the plus the the blood for chorionic gonadotropin and once it is positive no pregnant siya okay kasi may dala ya placenta and the placenta will produce the human chorionic gonadotropin and once na positive yon buntis siya she is pregnant so this is just the uh picture no of pregnancy ha huh? kung saan dyan yung placenta okay the placenta is part of the uh, maternal uh, rather the, the 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 maternal part uh, the maternal part of the placenta is called the decidua vasalis part siya ng um uterus, no? Decidua. Decidua is a layer of the with uh, the <coughs> So it is part of the placenta. Decidua basalis. Okay? And then later on, there will be chorion frontosum, the chorion levi, okay? Which are parts of the placenta. As I have said, we have two types of cells in the placenta or the top in the yeah in the placenta. We have the cytotrophoblast 
the undifferentiated cell. It is self staining but it uh, has a complete structure. Meron siyang cytoplasm, you have a nucleus. But the thing is trophoblast, the outer part. We just present to us with uh, parang mga ano lang, irregular outline of nuclei, which tend to group together. Okay? These are the structure, the placental villi. The placenta will have a close relationship with what part of the baby? It will connect to what? You just imagine from the placenta which is attached to the mother, it should be attached also to the baby. So, ano nag attach sa kanya? Sa baby? Umbilical cord. Yes, the umbilical cord. So, there's a portion of the placenta where it conglomerates and you will have there the umbilical cord in which you have there uh, two arteries and one vein. Nakakonect siya to the baby huh? for exchange of nutrition. Okay? So the placenta is an endocrine organ, okay? And uh, it produces HCG human chorionic gonadotropin. Then once there is perfect and first formation of the placenta. The placenta will also produce progesterone and, and also lacto, placenta lactogen or tomato pamotropin. Pati mute lang ito ba ha? Kasi uh, tayo. Pati mute ng microphone. So this is the so-called decidua of pregnancy. It's just an enlargement of the cells of the endometrium. And decidua is called, uh, uh, rather, the endometrium of pregnancy is called decidua. Decidua will have enlargement of the cells. Huh? Enlargement of the cells in the uh, <laughs> early placenta. Okay, this is how the picture of the early placenta looks like. Magudti it bilos, bilos another bilos, mga vilay inintanan, and they are small. Okay, and. Uh, you should know how it looks like under the microscope. Kay Amoni at Ichura in the normal placenta. But uh, in pathology, there will be enlargement. So one villi will occupy the whole of this. You will have the so called your enlargement of the villi and the hypertrophy of the villi. Tikada mo it villi, pero dagko. Okay? So we call it. H mole. When we go to pathology, there'll be abnormalities of the villi and the dog go and they, they will have hypertrophy, hyperplasia of the cells. So look at this. And yes, as usually, one lining epithelium lang, isang lining lang, di ba? One cell lining. Yan, one cell lining. But in high TD4 more or H mole, you will have several layers of the cells in the outer portion of the villi. Tapos dagko, no? Dagko iya bilos. So you will note na abnormal na iya. This one it is normal, okay? Normal ini yung na placental villi, okay? Usa pa, no? You should know how it looks like. Kasi di ba we discuss about tubal uh, versus the fallopian tube. You remember? Dane Michael Timbal, did you remember about fallopian tube? The cells of the placenta, ah, rather, the placenta, the fallopian tube, the cells of the placental tube. Ah, rather, again, the cells of the tube, the fallopian tube, rather. When we cut that on cross section, how the tube will look like. Hepatology, once a slide is out, 
yung pakita kang Dr. Lasakan is live from an operation, nag-operahan maan, kuanhan, woman, no? And then, we, we cut off an organ and then send it to the laboratory. And then we noted nga, or Dr. Lasaka noted na it was a fallopian tube. Okay? Fallopian tube, pero ang sunod, there are red blood cells and like this. Diba? So ang fallopian tube filled with like this and blood. So what was it? Mr. Ange. Oh, who? Anyone? Para di kita magkwanit oras. Tiktopik po, no? Tiktopik, correct. Kasi palopian tube na may ada, placenta. So that means na buro di ha palopian tube. Okay? Now, bakit di ba't ovarian tissue ad to? Maging pakita. So, masingi ko to. Oh, ovar, ovar, ibang hindi nga ilagyan remove. Pero na may nakita kaliwat yun ni. Eh. You saw some of this. So what was it? So again, Miss Makamay, Cindy, para di kita mag-inihan. Ectopic rin, Doc. Ectopic na ovarian. Kasi ovarian yung nakita with presenta. Okay? Pag makita mo doon naman, uh, fallopian tube, any of the of the section of the fallopian tube na mayroon naman siyang ganito and my point of rupture then it is a ruptured tubal pregnancy. See? How it is very important na alam mo ang itsura ng histology of the organ. Huh? So ngayon ito mga ano to mga term placenta naman. Okay? Pero that's how it will look like under the microscope. Huh? And then that's it. So this is now the end. The question for now is: I hope you will have your atlas. I want to get to have a microscope, right? At the laboratory, you have your atlas. So you place your atlas, all the pictures, sa imo atlas, okay? Because at this time, matutapos na kasi tayo. Tapat alam nyo. You should know how. Every organ of the body will look like under the microscope, the cells. Okay? Please master it. Meron pag tang time, you go over your histology book or your atlas, you memorize all the pictures there, how each of the organ will look like pag nakat on cut section under the microscope. Because when you go to pathology, it will not be normal anymore. Huh? So, magkakamayad ng changes, inflammatory changes, infectious, or, yeah, infectious changes in that organ, and you will see the difference. Ha? Huh? So, dapat alam mo ang itsura ng normal hepatocyte in the liver, normal spleen, normal neur uh, neuronal cells, and like that. Kasi sa pathology, iba nang makikita mo. Okay? So, I hope you got something from me today. Meron ba? O zero? Meron daw. Meron po daw. Okay, so I hope you remember me when you get to uh, pathology. Um, next year, uh, may gana kasi uh, pathologist that will join the histology class. So, I will not teach anymore any of the topics. Diba? I think I thought about the cells and ano pa ba yung muscles I will teach only the female reproductive system the next na class next na batch of first year students ha? kasi may bago ng histology teacher talaga histo or uh, what's his histopath no pathologist talaga magtuturo sa inyo about the different organs of the body histology of the different organs ha? I hope with the female reproductive system, you got something from me during my lectures. Okay, goodbye. I will prepare na lang your exam. Huh? Thank you, Doc. 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 Good luck. Good luck. God bless you. Thank you, Doc. Thank you, Doc. Ano man, nagpabakuna na kamu?
Did you have your yes, vaccine? Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. Pavaksin ka mo and you adhere to strict protocols. Ha? Stay at home. Kung wari ka mo himo na gawas, study your lessons, and uh, no matter what, you adhere to your uh, dream of becoming a doctor. Ha? Kanya nang talaga ang buhay. If you want to become a doctor, then by all means, you should. Okay? Study well para ka mo maging doctor. Ay, who knows? Malagas ako, kamot ang pakat. Ka kamot akong doktor, di ba? Okay. Bye. Bye, Doc. Thank you. Thank you po, Doc. Bye, Doc. Thank you po. Thank you, Doc. 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 Bye, bye. Thank you, Doc. Hirap mo na mag-picture. Picture daw, Anay Lugod. Kay last class ko na ini. Sige po, Doc. I will take the screenshot. Okay, sige. Screenshot. I'm a kid. Okay. So, first page. Smile. Second page. Third page. Okay. Tapos na po, Doc. Okay, bye. Tapos forward ko na lang. Okay.